Hi friends, today let us talk about cleaning the household stuff. You might have heard a mantra called reduce, reuse and recycle, isn't it? I have been repurposing my old clothes like old t-shirts, you know, to clean my household stuff. For example, the stove top or furniture or electric appliances, you know. But I found that there is a better way. I discovered that almost five years back and since then I'm no more using my clothes for this work. And before I tell you what that method is, let me ask you a simple question. How do the lizards walk on the surface? The common house lizards or common house geckos, how do they walk on the wall and ceilings? Have you ever thought about it? Let us ask the Google the same question. Hey Google, how do lizards walk on the wall? According to Quora, lizards walks on the wall because their feet have suction pads. The air between feet and wall is pressed out and a low pressure is created. As you know, the answer is plainly wrong. One reason is that the Google index the first answer as an answer from Quora, you know a popular site called Quora. And Quora's answer is based upon State Educational Department Syllabus, S-C-E-R-T Syllabus, one gentleman has answered it. His answer was that lizards have got small flaps, you know, that acts like suction, something like this, the air suction, you know, so that the lizards can attach its feet on the wall. Friends, that is wrong. This is the reason I tell my students that do not trust the textbook so blindly because most of the textbooks are not revised for many years. That answer is wrong. The, the right answer is Van der Waals force. Do you know friends, if you look the, you know, the, the feet of lizards or geckos very closely under an extremely powerful microscope like electron microscope with a high resolution, you will see that the feet has got very tiny hair like bristles, the fine bristles, you know, millions of it friends. And these bristles are called setae. Geckos use this setae to attach and disattach, attach and disattach from the surface something like a fast action camera. You know, this camera has got frame per second, right, FPS for shooting movies. So this one is something like 15 FPS because 15 times it attach and disattach, attach and disattach and they don't use all the setae, you know, they use only a little bit of setae to attach on the surfaces. These setae's can stick to any surface because it utilizes something called Van der Waals forces. As you might recall from your old school chemistry classes, Van der Waals forces are weak electrostatic attractive forces, something like magnetic forces, you know. Magnetic forces are more stronger while Van der Waals forces are very weak, but they have got millions of setae and that is the reason that it can cling on any surface not by the suction or not by the surface tension. You don't really need any liquid in it. Even when the surfaces are very dry, you know, these bristles, the setae can stick on that surface. This setae, if you look under the microscope, is 200 nanometer friends. You can compare with human hair, which is around 100,000 or 1 lakh nanometer in diameter. So this setae is very, very small in size. This phenomenon is discovered by the Dutch physicist called Johannes Diederik van der Waal. You know, the right way to say the van, it's not van, but it is van, van der Waals. He got Nobel Prize for Physics in 1910. You know, clever scientists make use of many principles of the nature and they replicate in, for example, material sciences, you know, and nanotechnology. A number of applications of this Van der Waals forces, you see that in your everyday life, friends. One good example is post-it knots. You might have seen this 3M Corporation's post-it knots, you know, and if you take this post-it knots, this knots, it can stick on many, any surfaces, you know, and this, you can reuse it as well and stick it again. And how do this actually stick on a surface? Have you ever thought about it? Same principle, the Van der Waals forces is in work. The same principle of Van der Waals forces is also used for many other consumer products. For example, this is the scotch tape by the same 3M corporation. So the scotch tape also has this Van der Waals. As I told you, it's an adhesive force. It is not permanent, right? You can remove it and re-stick it back again, the scotch tape. Or, you know, this kind of uh, pen. This pen is uh, quite a famous pen called Friction. Pilot friction and this pen again the pen can you can write on any surface and from backside you know the erase you can erase it back something like pencil 
or consider this sort of dry erase. So dry erase is also using the same Van der Waals principle to adhere on the surface. Or you might know there are dry glues available in the market these days. You know, something like Suguru is a famous brand. So these dry glues also utilize the Van der Waals forces to stick on the surface. All these products have got carbon nanotubes, extremely small carbon nanotubes, which is mimicking those tiny hairs on the feet of the lizards. This field is known as biomimetics. You can search it out. It's very fascinating field. Another example of the biomimetics is the Velcro strips. Instead of cotton, what am I using to clean my household stuff? It is this friends. This is nothing but microfiber clothes. As you know, microfiber clothes make use of Van der Waals forces to clean any surfaces. Usually microfiber clothes like this are made of polyester and polyamide, 50% polyester and 50% polyamide. And if you look it carefully under the microscope, you will see that these also have like the gecko tiny bristles, you know the setae. These also have extremely small and minute fibers. The fiber diameter is approximately 300 nanometer. Of course, not as good as the gecko's feet. Do you know the size of a typical bacteria? It is around 2000 nanometer. Do you know friends, mobile phones are laden with microbes. Some estimates say the surface contains far higher number of microbes than toilets, you know, per centimeter square. The best way to clean mobile phone is using a microfiber clothes that you might already be using that right to clean the electronic items or the camera lens and all but this is much better to clean any household stuff friends because this utilizes the van der waals forces and do you know to clean with this you really don't need any of these expensive cleaning solutions you can just use plain simple water then why people are not using that if plain simple water can clean with microfiber clothes on any surface then why people are not making use of it why people are buying these products it's all because of the marketing propaganda friends disinformation and misinformation be aware of it companies are paying a lot of money on advertisement you really don't need to use any of these cleaning products if you have plain simple microfiber clothes in your home and microfiber clothes are not that expensive it's very cheap all i have is just three microfiber clothes that i have been using for the last five years one microfiber cloth only for my cycle another one only for my electronic equipments and the third one is for the household things One big advantage of using microfiber cloth is that it doesn't leave any lints on the surface. So once you clean it, the surface is very clean. You can also make best use of the Van der Waals forces to remove the makeup. 
you know, using the microfiber clothes. Because of high density of microfibers on its surface, it can absorb the water really good friends. You can utilize this ability to make the microfiber clothes as your towel. There are two kinds of microfiber clothes. One is called split, another is called non-split. Cleaning microfiber clothes like this have got split fibers. Split fibers increase the surface area further for effective dirt removal. Yet another type of microfiber cloth is something like this. This is non-split. This is my cycling towel, friends. So this towel I bought through the Decathlon and this can absorb the water very efficiently, my sweat. For example, you can see my travel towel. This is also very soft and you know, this towel is basically a microfiber cloth and this is very soft to the skin and it can absorb six times its weight. You know, the water absorptibility is very high and it's very soft and only caveat is that instead of wiping like this, you have to press it like this to absorb the water. Well, it's something like a massage to your body, isn't it? So you might wonder, wow, what a wonder is this microfiber clothes. Can I use this microfiber clothes to fight the novel coronavirus? Yes, you can. My upcoming video will feature how to use this microfiber clothes to fight the coronavirus. If you like this video, please click thumbs up, share it in your relevant group and have a nice day.